It's almost three months since Dundee United last tasted defeat in the SPL and they'd have been confident of extending that run against Hearts. Tynecastle this season, not quite the fortress it's been in the past. It was also a weakened home lineup following the Battle of New Douglas Park. This tunnel was the centre of all attention last week. It's absolutely mad in there. The fight's breaking up in the tunnel. Everybody's involved. What on earth is going on in there? There was some football played, most of it by Hamilton, who went 2-0 up. Jonsson pulled one back, but another disappointing result for Shabalaslo's men in controversial circumstances. Here's Paul Mitchell. Well, Santa himself is here at Tyne Castle to check on the Hearts players. Some have been more naughty than nice recently. Daly. On to Robertson. Robertson sends it wide on to Conway. Conway. Low shot just wide. Good move from Dundee United. Conway, a willing runner. Just trying to pass it into the net. Dundee United chairman here. Thompson with the corner. Palace Willers for the header. Well, Dixon was guarding the post, Weaver was behind him. It was a good header, though, from Ruben Palazuelos. Yet to score this season. Dundee United failed to score in the last three visits here. And John Daly to lead the line. Castellanovo breaks to Robertson. Didn't really hit it as he wanted to. If he'd opened his foot a little bit more, he could have guided it down the other side. Dabacevic. Neatly into Daly. Mighty Williams leaves it for Robertson. It was initially blocked, comes back to Robertson. Good save by Keller, good second save. He's been hurt by Daly, had every right to challenge for the ball. Then the United and Hearts really going for it here. Well, oh, Craig Levine saying, think about it. Robertson played it through, came back to him. Good snapshot, and what a good second touch that was from Marianne Kello. John Daly sends blood. It came through on the goalkeeper, who was brave. Get through, Castellanovo. Up against Concalves. Concalves has it. Concalves moves away, and the referee's going to give a free kick to Dundee United, and he's going to boot Jose Concalves. Well, it was Jose Concalves trying to win the free kick through simulation. Did he initiate the contact? You'll notice the referee not popular. Swung in, Daly! Rattles the woodwork. Conway delivers so well, and Daly up ahead of Kello. Denied by the frame of the goal this time. Dun United come closer. Dun United chasing through. Karamatri away from Concarvage. Johnson comes in behind him. The two tussling for it. The referee looks and penalty. Karamatri is down, and Hearts have conceded the spot kick. Dundee United have the penalty, Katamatri and Jonsson, and the referee said spot kick. Both battling in there. You Norris right up with play. Hearts are unhappy, Michael Stewart is carried. At least three Hearts players swarmed around the referee. Score against Hearts. An opening day from the spot, doesn't do so here. Keller with the save, Robertson sends it wide. It was a team penalty in the end, Keller gets right. And Robertson couldn't put it on target. And Hearts, who looked set to go behind, remain level. Concalves allowed that to bounce, get a mouth right. Sends it on to Swanson. Nice save by Marian Kello. Slovakia is playing well, only a fourth appearance of the season. Saved the spot kick and held this one nicely too. Nadi on to Stewart. Stewart pushing forward, Gary Glenn's taking up a good position, comes through onto Glenn, cuts back inside. As close of hearts have come, Gary Glenn. And the dying minutes of the match, just wide. Two and a half months now since Hearts last won at home in the ASPL. United are unbeaten in nine. Um, they were forced to settle for a draw, Pat, but they made the chances, didn't they, to win that one? Yeah, they were very disappointed not getting the three points in that win. Uh, particularly, I would say, Scott Robertson. I think he's looking fantastic again. For me, definitely the man of the match on, on, on this occasion. Arriving from that midfield area, very difficult to pick. I mean, that's Stephen Gerrardish. Yeah. You know, he gets himself, no time at all, gets a powerful shot away. John Daly, who's been coming on and scoring goals as well, he gets close as well. So, no doubt in my mind, they deserved to get the win. They deserved to get a penalty. And that was a stick on penalty for me, Kadamati. 
Look, now the keeper saves it. Well done, Keller, once again. Look at the first man in again. Scott Robertson right. again. And he's very good at that. But the referee's given Stewart a, a, a yellow card. And there's a problem with Michael Stewart, uh, for me. I think he's a captain, and you have to be able to talk to the referee. But for me, he goes over the line just slightly too often. I want to see a little bit of passion. And he's great, and I never talk him out of that. But he needs to know where to draw the line. And at, at this point in time, he's doing the right thing. But last week, he's not. You know, he's shouting and bawling, he's invading. I, th I thought that is reaction to what was later a rescinded red card. I know, but you still, it does make it right. You can't actually do that in the referee's face. And, and this is the first game of the season, obviously, and he was, he was booked for that. And it was an idiotic second booking for a very similar offence. Hearts need him on the field because he's a good player. And he's fallen out with a lot of people, including his own fans, other players, the entire media. But he's an important player, he's a good player, he needs to keep the passion, but he needs to keep a lid on it slightly. Because without it, do you know what, I just love the fact that he's got the passion and some of the other players in the team haven't got the passion, so there's no big dig up here of him. It's the fact that he has to actually keep a lid on it. Uh, well, given the results they've been suffering, without someone like Michael Stewart, you wonder where on earth they would be, don't you? Yeah, and, and that's why I was always slightly disappointed. Some of the Hearts fans actually turned on a lot bit in, in some of the games. And I really do think they were wrong to do that, because without him... Phew, I just don't know where the heart and soul is.